What's up, gang? It's your girl Chouse. I'm here back with another little hygiene videos for my ladies. You know, I stay looking out for my ladies. You know, ladies gotta look after ladies. So today, yes, I got red nails, guys. So today, I'm gonna be talking about um, period hacks, basically. Um, I came prepared with my little notes. You guys know I love coming prepared for y'all, okay? So, as you guys know, I don't like to make long videos of this um, kind of stuff. Sorry, I keep playing with my hair because, like, I got bangs done and I feel like it keeps sticking up. So, yeah, um, period hacks. Um, like I said, I don't want to keep it long because I know myself, I don't like watching long-ass YouTube videos. And I know y'all don't either, so we just gonna keep it short, okay? So, periods. Um, I'm sure a lot of people watching this know what that is. It's our monthly menstrual cycle that we go through where we bleed for about a week or so. A lot of women are different. Um, you know, I've had periods when it only lasted three days. There's some days it lasts six days. There's months where it's abnormal. There's months where I just, it comes late. It's months it comes early. So, that's just our bodies, y'all. It sucks that we got to go through it, but somebody got to, right? Okay, so a period is when the uterine... <laughs> so a period is when the uterine... <laughs> a period is when the uterus releases blood out through the vagina. Okay, guys? Um, it's also the body getting rid of tissues that it doesn't need anymore. So, yeah, so it's a monthly cycle, right? where we bleed it's very annoying um you feel disgusting you're in pain i know me like i get period uh pains bad especially because of my um ovarian cyst if you guys didn't know um yeah i have a few ovarian cysts uh go check out that video but yeah it hurts even more for me because of the cyst all right, so my first thing i have on here is change your pad or tampon throughout the day okay that's not rocket science that's just common sense uh me myself i prefer tampons over pads because the pads is just i don't know you're just sitting in your blood it's disgusting the blood stinks um all of you guys know this like it's not sanitary at all i feel like tampons are more sanitary but i mean if there's some women that just don't like wearing tampons so you know it's your choice but my recommendation is to change it throughout the day um me honestly i change it every single time i use the bathroom i try to go like when i'm on my period i'm probably in the bathroom like twice every hour like it just i don't like the feeling of just sitting in blood or leaving a bloody tampon up there like i gotta keep changing it so me i change mine like twice every hour i would say like once every hour if you guys don't want to do it as often as me i think once every hour is fine um, every girl is different too. Like some people bleed more, some people bleed less. Like I bleed a little more because of my cyst. Um, so yeah, it, I guess it all depends on how often you bleed. If you're a heavy bleeder, I would definitely say twice an hour or once every hour. But me specifically, I do it twice every hour because I'm a heavy bleeder and it sucks. All right, um next one don't eat or drink cold stuff um try to stay away from that guys like it really increases like cramps um if you guys like i kid you not if you guys never knew this if you next time you're on your period you will notice if you're drinking cold stuff or eating cold stuff like your your cramps are gonna increase like i'm telling you <laughs> i'm telling you like this is all stuff that i noticed myself um so yeah it can increase pain it can increase cramps and those cramps like period cramps are like a whole nother like level of just like bitchiness it's just like uh mood swings i have them crazy like i know when i'm about to get my period like i know right now i'm about to get my period because i've been like really moody so yeah just stay away from cold stuff you know it can increase um it can increase cramps I'm a big coffee drinker, but when I'm on my period, like, I try to substitute my coffee with, like, hot green tea. Um, as that's because, like, sugar, um, you know, increases your cramps as well. So, and I put a lot of sugar in my coffee. Um, 
it kind of sucks because I'm a big coffee drinker. So during those days, like I really go through withdrawals. But I would rather that than to have all these damn pains and everything. So yeah, I replaced my coffee with hot green tea. If you don't like green tea, choose a different tea. You know, just make sure that it's hot. Um, this goes along with what I just said. If you're craving sweets, uh, mix honey and tea. Like I just said, sugar increases your cramps. So if you got that craving for sugar, just mix honey and your tea. And I promise your cravings will go away. Um, it works for me every time. I'm really not a big tea person, but for my periods, like, it's fine. Like I said, anything to keep... Anything to have less cramps, okay? Um, yeah, avoid food and drinks. Avoid food and drinks loaded with sugar. Like I was just saying. Sugar is just, like, bad, period. Like, it's like, what good is it for you? Like, you know? Unless if you're diabetic and your blood sugar is low, then you, then you eat something or drink something sweet to make it come back up. But besides that like sugar is like so bad for you like i've definitely learned this being on my period like sugar definitely increases for the 50th time it increases cramps okay uh take advil or mydol for pain um i preferably take ibuprofen uh my doc my doctor actually prescribes me some they're like uh it's like a high milligram i think it's like 800 milligrams because like i said like i bleed heavy i have bad cramps because of my sis so he prescribes me those that's what i take usually i take them like when i feel my period is coming like i'll take one of those like just so I can avoid like that all of a sudden like just cramp and moodiness like if I feel it coming, which I can feel it coming, like, right now, like, I'll probably take one in a bit. Um, I'll definitely pop one of those so I could avoid any of that pain or anything. And I usually take one, like, I would say, I probably take one, like, every four to six hours. Like I said, I take a high dosage. Um, you know, you guys don't have to. Like I said, it depends on your situation. But, yeah, I get 800 milligrams because I cramp a lot. It's bad. But, I mean, if you're, I know, yeah, it's just up to you. Like, some people prefer Tylenol. I don't really prefer the whole Tylenol thing. Like, it thins your blood. So, yeah, I do ibuprofen. But it's totally up to you guys what you prefer as a pain relief. So, and I know, like, the, um, what's it called? I know, like, if you put a hot pad on your stomach, that also works, too. Um... Yeah, and last but not least, drink water. Drink water. Like, drink water. Just period. Like, even if you're not on your period, just drink water. Um, But like I said, if I'm on my period, I try to go more for, like, a room temperature water or, like, hot water even. Um, I try to avoid the cold waters, even though cold water is my... But I try to avoid it for when I'm on my period um you guys know why it increases your uh cramps but yeah y'all that's my little how many was that one two three four five, six. that was my little six period hacks for you guys um i hope you guys found it helpful um like i said like i'm here for my ladies like i want to make these videos to help you guys i know there's some people that don't know this type of information um so yeah Make sure you subscribe to my channel, guys. And just comment down below what other videos you you guys want me to do. Like, I'm kind of into these low hygiene videos. Like, I like it. Like, you know, they're informative. Like, they're really helping people. So, just comment what other videos you would like me to see, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Love you always. And peace.